Hello, and welcome to the EMP Tech Group. Uh, this is a bit different this time. Uh, we have today with us Mike Wright, the Director of Tech Services with us. And my name is Peter Terry. I'm in the marketing department. And today we are going to go through uh, a feature of Siegel Scientific's Bartender, uh, a feature that allows you to email from Bartender directly. Um, and Mike uh, knew about this, uh, this sort of tech tip, if you will, we're calling it for today. Um, but we never had the right situation where we could implement it. So Mike today is going to kind of take us through from start to finish uh, the pros of being able to do this, use this feature, and then also um, uh, almost a step-by-step uh, on, on how to get there from point A to point Z. So Mike, do you want to kind of take us through a little bit of um, where you start and, um, and uh, how we get to the end of it? Okay. So a little background, we had a customer come to us who's been using Bartender, and one of the things that they print from Bartender is a bill of lading. And typically they print it out, give it to the truck driver, and then when he arrives, he gives it to the customer. And their customer um, asked them to get the bill of ladings ahead of time. So rather than print them out, scan them, email them to them, they wanted us to automate that process. Um, so what we'll go through is basically the steps on how you can use Bartender to create uh, a document and then email that document. So there's two tools I'll be using. Uh, the one I currently have up on the screen is Bartender Designer. And this is where we design the label that we're gonna print out. And I'm working with something very simple, just a little bit of text on the screen something um, that I can put some dynamic information into. And um, the dynamic information is tied to a embedded data with a name so that we can change that value when we print, print this document. So right. that's Bartender Designer. Then the other part to this is our is the Siegel's Tool Integration Builder. And this is a no-code integration. So you can um, make Bartender work with a lot of different, um, with different software systems without having to write any code. Um, the current one I'm working with is a database integration. So the um, integration looks for a change in the database, which you can define. And in this case, we have a column in the database called issue. And when that value is false, then it means that I have a new record that we want to use to create a document and email that document. And after the integration is done, then it will mark this as true so that um, anyone looking at the database knows that that um, data has been sent to the customer. So, we have the, after the new record detection, your, your key parts are your actions. So for every new record in the database, I've got three actions. I can print the document. Um, I use write file as a log, typically for my testing. Um, if things aren't working right, then I can, I can write certain information to a file and, and debug my integration and then the actual send email. And since this, this test is or just emailing the document, I've got the uh, print capability disabled here. And the write file is just going to a, a, a flat file on my hard drive. So the um, what we're really working on is the, the email portion. So this is pretty easy to set up. Um, Everything you see in here that's a, um, a name fault uh, with a percent name percent is dynamic data that comes out of the database. So right from my database table, I'm getting the subject, I'm getting who I'm sending it to, hard coding the reply, and then a little bit of message with some dynamic data in that. Right, and right. Then, and then we have the attachment and so the name of the document can be dynamic, 
and then um, where I'm pulling that document from. So it's it's all pretty simple on the account side. Um, I'm using a Office 365 um, account to do the email. So I set up my credentials, set up did the authorization, and the integration then remembers that. Um, authorization and I can I can send from that once I've set this up. Testing's pretty simple. I go to my test tab. Um, this is a record of the last time I ran it. Press start and then off screen I will trigger a uh, print. And if we watch here. It detected the new record. It's telling me that I had disabled the print, executing, um, and then its the email was sent. And on my email client, I have the new test email from me. So the mm, body yeah. that I put in there um, and the attached document. And which could also be printed out and be given to the driver, right? I mean, yeah. as, as you mentioned, right. Yeah, so you can, along with um, printing the document, you can, um, there's lots of actions you can put in here. So you can still have your hard copy along with emailing that. Right. And do you have to have, Is there, do all the versions of Bartender have this capability or is it certain ones? You need to have at least the automation edition, so automation or enterprise automation, those two support this feature. Nice. And so it, it's it's a it's kind of what we do here at, at EMP is we always seem to find a way to streamline someone's workflow or you know make their 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 operations a little bit more efficient. And this is exactly what you've uh, you guys have been able to do over in our tech services department is kind of make it easier on our customer here to have two different versions, um, a digital and then a, an actual physical copy of what they need. Well, this is great, Mike. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, as always, you know, we are, uh, we are constantly here to help you uh, figure out better ways of doing things. And um, as, as always, best way to find us, emptechgroup.com. Thanks so much, Mike. I appreciate it. Thank you.